I want to show you an example of some basic automation with BetAngel. There are two types of automation. There's the legacy automation tab here, which is the one I'm going to show you today, and there is Guardian Advanced Automation. Now we have the two because um, people who have been using BetAngel for years wish to continue using this automation tab. Um, the new advanced automation um, is within Guardian. Although this automation tab does have its own advantages as well. It's it's quick to to set up, it's easy to do, and you can apply it to a market within seconds. Whereas Guardian um automation may take a little more planning, if you like, uh to set up and get running. So anyway, the first thing we need to do um when you start better is select a market. Now you probably saw I've already got one chosen but I'm gonna show you how to do that anyway. So open up the market selection box double click on the market and BetAngel will ch change to that market. Next we want to select some rules so we need to go to the settings editor and the automation tab within here has some basic automation for back automation and lay automation. We can also automate dutching and the bookmaking features here but I'm going to show you the back automation. So in the example in the article uh, I talk about uh, backing a particular runner if the odds are fall below 1.4 and I set it up using these values so I put 1.01 .01 there and 1.4 there. So what this is saying is if the current odds fall between these prices greater than or equals 1.01 .01 and less than or equals 1.4 so any value in there then that part of the rule is satisfied. It also says weight of money has to be below 100% while normally the weight of money is always below 100%. Now we can time that up if we, if we wish um, and say you know if the weight of money is below 50% uh, but generally in running um, the weight of money is going to be all over the place so let's just set that to 100% ok place at, now I'm going to put place at 1.01 .01. what this will do is, is when the bet is fired uh, bet, bet engine will fire the bet at 1.01 .01. it will ask for 1.01 .01. but because of the way bet fare works um, you will get matched at the best available price. So if I ask for 1.01 .01 and 1.4 is actually available then I will get 1.4. So once all those values are set as we want them we can save those and close that tab. Next let's go to the automation tab. Now you'll see here we have the list of uh, runners in this market I've got the stakes set. Now if I want to change the stakes I can overtype these values here. I can change the value at the top here and tick this box and it will change the values of all the runners. But let's stick with uh, what I had originally. So £50. Now I can choose to apply that rule. Let's go back to this and just make sure if I pin that to the top, in fact it already is look so you can see what we're doing here. So if I apply that rule, if I want to apply this rule to this runner, Sharara, then I just tick the button or the uh, checkbox associated with it that is called back. And I can apply it to as many or as few runners as I like. If I want to back the field or apply the rule to the field, I can use this tick box which applies that rule to the field and I will do that with this automation. Basically what I'm saying here is uh, as soon as it looks likely that someone's going to win then um, place the bet. At this point I should point out before anyone sends in um, letters or moans on the forum that this is not guaranteed to work at all. Um, so don't use this as a surefire strategy to make loads of money because it, uh, it won't. <laughs> but this is just an example to show you how automation works. 
Um, so, we've got two minutes before the start of the race, and I'll switch this back on uh, when the race is underway. One thing to bear in mind, um, a quick ex explanation of why I said that just now about why this won't work all the time. If you look at 1.4, you may think if the runner's hit 1.4, then surely it's going to go on to win, but it's, it doesn't work like that. If I bring on the calculator, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. the implied probability is 100 divided by 1.4, 71.4%. So it's still got nearly a 30% chance of losing. So they're, they're not fantastically uh, guaranteed. So that's why you would not use this. Anyway, the race. The race is about to start, so let me get rid of this. Well, we'll see. What, we'll see. We'll just recap of what we've asked for here. So, if the current, if the odds fall between these two prices, and the weight of money is less than that, then place a bet at 1.01, .01, and we'll see what happens as this race gets underway. Now you'll notice when the market turned in play all my automation disappeared so I have to reset that once the market is in play so Bluegrass Blues is coming along Sylvia Pankhurst who's going to hit the threshold first there we go Bluegrass Blues £50 was placed ok so let's have a quick recap if we look at match bets, um, actually got matched at 1.07. So even though it fired as soon as the bet was below 1.4, because the market was moving so fast, by the time the bet was accepted by the exchange, the odds had re uh, contracted to 1.07. Um, but because we asked for 1.01, .01, it matched at the best available price, which was 1.07 at that time. <clears throat> so that's a quick example of how to use automation. You can use obviously set up uh, the rules to do a similar thing in lay. So um, if the current odds are below or between a certain price, uh, then you can uh, apply a lay bet as well, and you'd apply that just by ticking the lay boxes. So have a go at that, log in practice mode, have a couple of goes on a couple of markets and um, see how you get on. Good luck with that. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, why not visit BetAngel.com today to download a free trial.